Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis video. And this time I'm going to cover a slightly different asset than Bitcoin. I'm going to be covering Ape USDT. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video as we will dive into it very, very, very quickly. The thing is, if there is really one altcoin project talked about pretty much the most in recent months, it must be ApeCoin. In other words, Ape. <clears throat> this is an Ethereum based token from the Bored Ape Yacht Club ecosystem and has officially become the most valuable metaverse token uh, with a market cap of over 6.6 .6 billion USDT uh, at the time of writing. And in only one and a half month after the BayYC creators, Yuga Labs announced the creation of the coins. And Yeah, who cares really? Who cares about the news? Because in the end, price has plunged 26% ahead of its launch and ever since then has declined even further. So the thing is, you might be looking for reasons why price has fallen down. But the problem with this is you're late. You're late because if you're starting to look for reasons and start finding the news, uh, searching the news as to why price has fallen down, it already has happened. So instead of focusing on the news, let us focus this video on actual technical analysis so we can find a logical reason of why price has behaved like that on Ape USDT. So let's take an like an, let's take an in dive depth into what has happened. And in the end, it is actually really simple, in my opinion. If you have the right knowledge of the tools, then you can simply apply it to this chart, to any chart really. And uh, this is also the reason why I decided to do a different chart because it will show you that technical analysis will tell you the news in advance. So if you're knowledgeable about certain theories, I'm going to use a little bit of Fibonacci, a little bit of uh, Elliott wave and a little bit of volume distribution for you. So let's take a good look at what the chart has provided for us and how we could have seen this coming ahead of time. So judging from its chart, it's a very, very, very young altcoin, as you can see, starting on the 18th or mid-March 2022 this year. Since then, it has gone in pretty much sideways action before actually appreciating in price. Now, very simply put, you could say that the actual move pretty much started more or less around here. We had seen a rise in price. We had seen a decline in price further on an appreciation in price and then we've had a little bit of sideways price action depending on how you look at it so hold on for a minute as i will give you clarity as to what uh, as to how i approach this uh, in in a, in, a, in a bit so one way that you could have approached it this is a correction and this is the start of a new move straight to all-time highs however if you have the knowledge available to yourself you can also class it a slightly different price action and let us put some Elliott wave to the to the test shall we so if you would say that the actual move started here we would have a wave one over here we would have a deep retracement giving us a wave two and then instead of putting our wave three over here I'm going to put it over here and um, sorry my bad I'm going to indeed put it over here and then class this entire section as actually to correction and this as the latest move upwards. So now having that, going to delete this for a second, I'm gonna focus on this section specifically, showing this as a little bit of a range, so to speak. And if you're knowledgeable about Elliott wave theory, then it might occur to you that we have a, a correction type going on that is known as a running flat, giving us an A, B and the C wave in order to complete that structure before we have actually uh, starting started the next move, bringing us up to new all time highs, right? The context is also correct because this range happened at the previous all time highs. So therefore I find it logical to come to this kind of conclusion. Now, how does this help us help us in, in further determining where price might go next? 
Well, if you know, if you are aware of this type of theory, then you can simply apply a Fibonacci extension tool, bringing us up to the wave from the start of wave three to the end of wave three, bringing it pretty much down to the bottom of that running flat. And what do we see over here? There's really no other technical levels besides this level over here. What we can see over here, we have the 1.618 extension. We've pierced through this level slightly before declining and ultimately giving the entirety of the move back pretty much beginning where it all really started at the previous range and the previous all-time highs. Now, this is not the only clue as to why price might have topped out here. If you would also have the knowledge about how volume works, then what we can do is simply distribute a volume profile from its latest rise from where, the, uh, where it started to its all-time highs. And as you can see, the volume distribution is pretty much non-existent. As price actually attempted to appreciate in price, it was totally not backed up by volume. The volume was simply dropping off as we were going up where the volume, the majority of the volume remained within this range. So the conclusion that can be pulled here that actually while price was indeed appreciating to the upside, right? Actually, there was really no interest in truly participating up at these highs. People were not interested in trading at these levels. And therefore, if there's no interest in trading at these levels, you will automatically have the opposite force of the market. In this case, the selling pressure taking over or people taking profits. The smart people took profits here at the highs. And then those who did long eventually ended up winning, being with an underwater trade um, and ultimately causing this volatile decrease in price as it's a combination of people taking profits at the highs, the smart money, so to speak, and then people who basically are longing without informing themselves, without doing any kind of research at the very top, ultimately resulting in them getting uh, either stopped out or even worse, even liquidated, ultimately resulting in this very volatile pullback where if you were for some reason would still be in the trade, you had the opportunity to actually get out on this bounce and then ultimately confirming the market structure to the downside further and then continuing the liquidation process as price dropped further, ending up in ultimately a total decline of about 50% in total from its all time high. Now, this is the technical reason. And if you have the knowledge to apply this correctly and to do your analysis correctly, then it is very clear to see that you could have seen this coming by a combination of Elliott waves, by, com by, by strengthening that analysis with some Fibonacci uh, and combining that with some volume analysis, you could have seen it coming that people were actually not interested in trading up at these highs. And um you could have known in advance so you would not have needed any kind of news whatsoever you just needed the technical analysis and the knowledge to do so in order to actually trade this successfully so with this uh analysis i've already come to the conclusion of this video it's a short sweet but precise and hopefully informative analysis uh, should you want to know more about our tools, then, uh, you know, we have an entire learning platform available for you to learn on. You can find us at www.chartchampions.com. You can take a look. We have some free content out there and you can see what we're all about. Uh, so I, I would happily invite you to take, take a look and see for yourself what we're all about. Um, if you like this video, if you like the information that, that I gave here, if you like the analysis, then please you know, wouldn't, could, couldn't hurt for you to give us a like and a subscribe would be forever grateful, doesn't cost you anything. And it would make us really happy and keeps us motivated to make more free content for you all. So with having that said, I hope you've enjoyed this video and wish you a very, very great day ahead. Trade safe, trade with information that you can use uh, in your favor and looking very much forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good day. Cheers. Bye.